Hello Internet, it's Tony, and today we're doing another Arc Linux Rice. Um, so what I've got here is Manjaro, this time running with i3wm, and we're just gonna go ahead and use our same old load workspace main command from our last video. And yeah, let's just jump right in and see what it looks like. Yeah, so this is our main workspace. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, go ahead and do yourself a favor and do not check that out. I was extremely sleep deprived and it's just honestly a terrible video. Um, so yeah, let's go into what this is. Uh, so bottom right, we have our CLI visualizer. Uh, that's for music. Bottom left, HTOPS, your task manager. Top right, good old C matrix, just a fun thing to look at. And top left, NeoFetch. Um, so at the very top of your screen, what you have here is a polybar, which is our i3 bar replacement. Um, very far left, you have your classic workspace loadout. Um, this time I have used some nice custom icons from Font Awesome basically to designate which workspaces are for what. So, you know, here our main workspace is a cute little command line icon which shows us that this is our command line workspace. Um, uh, right next to it, we have a really cool script that actually pulls music from the current playing uh, song, excuse me, from Google Play Music. Uh, as well as how much time is left in that song, which is honestly really cool. Um, then in your middle, you got your date time and another script that pulls weather. And then far right, you know, you got your classic Wi-Fi and sound icons. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up Rofi here. Uh, and this is my D-menu equivalent. And let's run Firefox. And you're going to see in the top right or top left here, actually, um, Firefox is going to open up in its own designated workspace. Uh, Reddit's going to open up. Uh, nice. And uh, yeah, uh, that's basically my rice. Um, I can go ahead and show uh, what's in my separate workspaces. So um, we got my music workspace right here. Uh, Alta is playing currently. And yeah, you can see actually it matches up perfectly. One minute 33 left in this, so do the math there. Uh, our main workspace, we can clean this out. And I'd like to go ahead and show off actually my Vim setup. So I'm going to open up my Vim RC and full screen that. Um, so yeah, this is also a really cool Zen mode that I have for Vim. Um, I'll put, you know, a link in the description of all this dot files, configs, what have you. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my rice. So I was actually planning to spend the second half of this video explaining to people who um, don't really know what this is or what's going on, but who would like to know more information as to, you know, what this is and why I do it basically. So let's go again. Let's go ahead and clear actually some stuff out down to my main screen. Um, yeah, so. To start from the very beginning, I am running Linux on my computer. More specifically, I'm running Arc Linux, and even more specifically, I'm running Manjaro. So the hierarchy there is Manjaro is a very specific type of distribution of Arc Linux, which is also a very specific type of distribution of Linux. Um, and all that means is basically I'm using a, a very specified version of Linux, but in the end, Linux is Linux. Um, on top of that, I am running something called a window manager, more specifically i3wm. Uh, WM standing for a window manager and what that means is that I get to have really nice clean um, Efficient loadouts of things, right? So let me run that load workspace main again um, All of this is automated, right? But I can also do this manually um, And if you notice like, you know, I can resize this screen very quickly These are all Vim keyboard shortcuts, which if you don't use Vim you should uh, it's pretty cool and nice um, And yeah, uh, I can also show you really quickly. Let me open Firefox again um, you know, day in the life, I can open up Firefox, I can open up this, resize, come down here. I can't even speak fast enough to keep up with my keyboard shortcuts. But yeah, there you go. You know, things like that just honestly make my dev environment so much more fast. Um, I can even do one last demo here. So I'm going to go ahead and put out a new video soon on specifically this. But this is a recent project I was working on for the South by Southwest hackathon, which I went to. Uh, that's a tongue twister a bit. Uh, so I use Mod Shift. Actually, let's 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 do it this way. I'm gonna go silent for a second and just like pretend like I'm working because it's so hard to narrate this while I'm doing these keyboard shortcuts because it goes by so quickly. So just give me a couple of seconds. All right, so while Adam is loading, I'll explain what I just did. So um, I have mod shift one bound to move this window, the focused window, into the first workspace, so you know, mod shift 2, 3, 4, and 5 all work for the respective workspaces. Um, and then I basically moved some windows around and then did some resizing, which I'm about to do as well now. Um, and all of that took very, very, you know, little time, as you can tell. And now I'm into my dev environment. So I actually had this environment up for like 24 hours, but it was really, really nice to basically be able to load into this 
really comfy homely workspace that you've designed every single pixel of and be able to control everything with maximum efficiency. Um, and so that's that's the gist of why I personally use i3WM. I'm sure a lot of other people have various reasons for why they use Linux in general. Um, but yeah, I hope that brought a little bit more information to your life, and a little bit more understanding as to why this happens. Um, if you want more information, definitely hit me up, and I'd love to talk to you one-on-one -on, -one on that list. But otherwise, this has been my video. I hope it's been somewhat entertaining, if not informative, and I will see you in the next one. Where is all now? Please let me clue you in.